Hey everybody, this is Robert Williams here and today I'm going to look at the HP Beats Audio computer. Um, this is my computer. Uh, recently I've been allowing my daughters to use it and it's had a few issues. Uh, so we'll open it up and I'll show the screen. You can see that I need to, I'm going to buy a new uh, chassis around here for it um, but recently I've already actually replaced the screen uh, as my oldest daughter dropped it off the bed and the whole screen broke um, and then what we're gonna do today is open it up and replace the BIOS battery so first we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery and get my I fix it kit. So recently the battery began, uh, the BIOS battery began messing up, or at least I believe that to be the culprit, as she complained that the internet wasn't working. So first thing I did was check the internet card, which is right here and when I opened it up before the little piece that connects to the internet card or to the network adapter it was broken so I had to buy a new one and replace it um, before I go any further I'm gonna go ahead and get out my static electricity and ground myself so to be fair I haven't really done this in the past but this is always good to do so that you don't mess up your uh, electronics so that you don't destroy them as you're trying to fix them because uh, that would be counterproductive uh, if your goal is to save money and fix your own devices, uh, last thing you want to do is to, you know, mess it up any further. So, what we're going to do here is, like I said, we're going to put it on. It's known as a electric static discharge is what we're trying to avoid. So, just got that on. And as I said, this is what I replaced recently. Um, so this one should be good. Um, originally, she was getting on the... Uh, what was it? It was the caps lock. It was lighting up three times. And when I went back and I researched what that was it referenced that it was the BIOS battery and eventually I was able to I got up in here and started seeing that other aspects were were you know wrong and had issues so like I said I fixed those um, think about the screen on Amazon for about 50 bucks bought the adapter the network adapter for I don't remember exactly how much, but not that expensive compared to the price of the computer in and of itself. So we could we could probably just sit this here. We don't really need to remove it or take it off. So I will say this here was my attempt at buying a battery from Amazon without being able to properly see the adapter as you can see the adapter is real small and first time replacing the BIOS battery didn't realize that it was a particular one as far as the ending was concerned so this is my attempt at buying the battery only to not get the right battery and try to fix it without having to pay any more money but needless to say I had to so recently I ordered found the part on HP's website and I went ahead and ordered the battery 
from Impact Computers. So I'm going to remove the battery. It's actually a pretty big box for this little battery. But I understand trying to avoid the electric static discharge. So, you know, just put it up in there, make sure it's safe and makes it to its new home. Well, we're going to go ahead and plug it up. I will say I was able to avoid issues uh, in the past, or, or not issues, but I was able to finally log back onto the computer, but it still didn't work as it was supposed to. Um, and I think that's just because, you know, it wasn't able to pull from memory, uh, BIOS memory. But now that we have this in here, we're going to assemble everything. And we quickly put the battery in there. Uh, wasn't anything but a connector piece, so... So we got all that in there. Now we need to replace the cover over the hard drive. We're going to move our electric static discharge connection. We're going to replace the cover over the other components. So I will say I just bought the iFixit uh, kit, but it's already coming in handy and it has a lot of tools that I can utilize for both computers and the phone uh, and tablets if I were to do some work like that. So just replace the battery in and hopefully in my next video I'll be showing that it's actually operating correctly. Um, previously getting it up, it brought up some aspects of the system, but like I said, not all of them. So hopefully, I wish I could show what it was doing previously. Uh, if it opens up and operates that way, I'll go ahead and show that so that you know what to look for. Um, but nonetheless, I believe it was the BIOS battery and I'm gonna go ahead and see if that actually worked uh, in the future. Like I said, I'll probably take another video as I will be replacing the chassis uh, around, or the bezel around the side, and I'll see you then.